this lesson we're going to learn how to take an accelerometer, which is uh, a little gadget that tells the Arduino how fast it's going and in what direction, and hooking it up to your Arduino. So let's get started. Okay, let's wire up the project. It's super easy. Alright, so here's the accelerometer. Um, it has uh, six pins on it for sending the data and as well as powering the board. So we'll just plug it in. All right, the VN plugs into five volts. The one mark three VO plugs into the AREF port over here. That stands for analog reference and basically it, it helps uh, calibrate analog signals by giving a, a voltage baseline. Ground goes to ground as well. Uh, and then X, Y, and Z plug into uh, analog ports 0, 1, and 2, respectively. Let's see. Why? And there's X. You probably already know this, but X, Y, and Z stand for um, coordinates in space. So uh, the X is going left and right. Y is front and back, and the way I remember that is Y for U, so it's 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 going away towards U, um, and then Z is up and down, and the accelerometer can detect those and return the value to the Arduino, which we will um, read through the serial monitor. Okay. Uh, let's get to programming it. Okay, so we have this great accelerometer. It's Adafruit part number 163, by the way. But what then? Well, I would suggest if you have a, a new component like this, um, that you go to wherever you bought it from and see if they have any information. In this case, I bought it from Adafruit, and going down the page, um, I see that they have tutorials for it. I'm going to check out the Adafruit Analog Accelerometer Breakouts tutorial. All right, so this is an overview of the product, um, and uh, it has other stuff here as well, um, like assembling, assembly and wiring, which I already showed you how to do. That's essentially saying, you know, what wire goes where. Uh, more interestingly, um, it has a section on programming and calibrating the accelerometer. Uh, calibration refers to the fact that sensors need to have um, a range established before it can um, before it can deliver any kind of accurate results. Uh, but we don't care about that because we're just playing around with it. However, this calibration sketch, which is a sketch that they included to show you how to calibrate it, does have lots of infra interesting stuff in it in terms of um, for a very basic sketch, it shows you what kind of readings you're getting from the accelerometer. So we're going to copy the code, and then we're going to go into Arduino and paste it in. Then all we have to do is upload this, uh, and our accelerometer through the serial monitor should be giving us uh, some interesting readings. So let's do it. Okay. The sketch is uploaded. Let's open up the serial monitor. Now recall that the serial monitor resets the program when it opens up. 
Okay, see all this where it says calibrate? Well, this is part of a, a, a slightly bigger project with a button that um, is on the website here to c calibrate it, but I don't think we really need to worry about calibration. We're just playing around with it. And if you do decide you're interested, um, the tutorial uh, the tutorial that we were just looking at um, with this, the calibration sketch will tell you how to do that. Hey, check it out. Um, uh, so let's stop with the calibration. Did you see that though? It was pretty cool. It was um, some see if I can find it. Some GPS coordinates. Well, we'll figure out how to get those. So let's let's go back to the code. We don't want to have all that calibration stuff. If you want to learn how to calibrate, um, you can just go to the website. But um, looking over the code, Um, there is a uh, an if else statement with regards to auto calibration. Let's just get rid of all that. We don't need that. So now it's it is creating um, integers to record the x, y, and z axes. Now it looks like there is a function after the loop. Um, for auto calibration. So let's delete that. All right. Let's try re uploading it and see what happens. All right. Let's see what we get. Um, that's not good. So we need to have a have a serial print line with these things here. So let's do that right now. Let's do X raw. Y and Z. Let's see what that does. Actually, let's not make them print lines. Let's make them print so they're all in one row. And let's put some spaces in between there. and a blank space to separate them. All right, let's try that. Okay, so now I'm going to move the, see how the numbers are changing? I'm moving the Arduino, um, or, or more precisely, the uh, accelerometer, which is on my proto board, around, and you can see how it changes the numbers. Now I'm going to set it down, and there it doesn't move. All right, that's pretty cool, huh? So you see, if you go back here, um, you can very easily get a reading, but the only question is whether um, it's calibrated or not. So what exactly is an accelerometer good for? Uh, well, basically, if you want to, to measure the speed of your project, for instance, say you have a little car or something that could be shot it into the air on a rocket. You could have one of these to, to record um, the trip in essence and and save it onto like an SD card or something. Um, obviously you need an SD card reader shield or something. Um, so basically for measuring speed but also like uh, uh, the coordinates you know like if you if you want to say um, as soon as this thing starts moving, uh, like away from you, then um, then something is triggered.
So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with the accelerometer. And, uh, well, good luck. That's it for lesson one. In lesson two, we're going to check out a RGB color scanner that can be connected to your Arduino so you can scan and record colors.